Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use PHP to connect to a MySQL server. Uh, I will create a series of uh, video uh, since um, there are different ways of connecting to the database using PHP. Uh, in the first video, I tried to show you how to set up this uh, locally on your uh, computer uh, using XAMPP, PHP MyAdmin, and PHP Storm, or any other text editor that you want to use. Uh, so make sure that the uh, ZAMP is running uh, or any other uh, local web server that you have that contains Apache and uh, MySQL. Uh, my Apache is running on port 800 because I'm running some other web servers on the same machine. So I just uh, simply go to the URL localhost 800 and uh, will get me to the uh, control panel of the ZAMP uh, application. Uh, one of the uh, application that I want to use to be able to manage the database locally, which is mostly available on many servers, uh, is PHP MyAdmin. It's an interface to the database and allows you to deal with different uh, tables, creating databases, managing users, and so many other things they can do. Uh, so the very first thing I want to do is uh, I want to go ahead and uh, create a database. Uh, I'll simply go ahead and create a database, call it... Uh, um, school database uh, school DB uh, and I just create now I click on the school DB to select this database which is a use command if you do it on the command line and I will create a table called students the table student will consist of uh, four fields uh, I want to have an ID uh, which is auto increment ID uh, and then student name uh, student ID and then finally uh, the uh, status of this student if he's an active uh, student or not meaning if attending the class or attending the school or not uh, so simply I'll go ahead and create the ID uh, if I just scroll to the right I can simply click the checkbox to make this auto increment uh, usually what I do is I will make this one unsigned for the auto incremented value uh, also go and create another uh, field called name uh, I will pick varchar war war and I'll make it 41 character um, and also I'll go ahead and add student ID uh, the way I want to store the student ID I'll uh, store it as character and uh, since I have a fixed format of nine character and that's the max I can have, uh, which is digit, but still is, is not something that I want to do any calculation on. So simply I put it as a character. And then finally, I have the uh, field call active. Uh, for uh, this one, I can use a tiny int because I will store one or zero. And uh, by default, I'm going to put one in. So as soon as I insert this student into the table, the value will be one. It indicates that the student is an active student. And if I want to change it later on, I'll change this with uh, with uh, PHP. I leave the table engine as InnoDB since I might want to have the referential integrity or have some other classes that are, are, are related to this record, having primary key and uh, foreign key to enforce this, I'll keep as InnoDB. So just click on save. The table has been created, so I should be able to ready uh, to connect to this using PHP now. There are a few ways of connecting to PHP, uh, connecting to MySQL using PHP. One uh, is MySQL, which is very old way of connecting to uh, MySQL database, was designed only for MySQL database. It's already obsolete, nobody's using it. You might see it in a very old code, so do not use it. Uh, the next one that you can use is MySQL I. MySQL I stands for MySQL Improved, so it's an improved version of the old uh, uh, library that we used to use. And there are two flavors for this. One is procedural, which is a bunch of functions that you have to call to manage your connectivity and manipulating the data on database. And uh, MySQL I also comes with object-oriented version. We simply you create an object and you call the methods of that class and you go on and do the same thing as managing the database, updating the information, removing, inserting, and so on. And uh, there is one more way of connecting the database, which is called PDO. Uh, PDO is object-oriented version. 
the advantage of PDO over MySQLi is it allows you to connect to more than one database. So you can connect to many databases, not just MySQL. Uh, so if you think uh, that you will have a uh, uh, plan to connect to different databases in future, PDO is recommended. Otherwise, if you want to stick with MySQL, MySQL will do the job. MySQLi will do the job. Uh, that's all for this video. I want to keep them short so you can follow them through. So in next video, I'm going to use MySQLi procedural to connect to the student table and do some operation on that. Thank you.